Okay, now that I can probably finally get out this word, um, the Lord has pressed upon my spirit to acknowledge the fact that we are living in a time that is literally prophesied in the Bible. And I'm going to point out a scripture for you because in this end times that we are living in, Christ spoke of people coming in his name, be, being careful not to be led astray. There will be many false prophets and people coming in his name claiming that they are Christ. Okay, what is the meaning of Christ? Because if people aren't going to come and literally say, I am Christ or I am God, what are they going to come and say? What other things could they come and say? Um, you know, the meaning behind Christ is the anointed one or the chosen one, right? How many times have you popped online, TikTok, whatever, and you've heard people talk about being the chosen one or the chosen ones um, or saying that they are anointed? Um, the biggest thing to, to remember out of the Bible as well is that he specifically states that we will know them by their fruits. So not fruits as in, you know, the, the carnal eyes, the worldly things that, you know, you've got a good career, you've got money, you've got a family, you know, those, those, uh, carnal things that we tend to think about in this world, like this person's well off, they're doing good. Those are, those are good fruits. Like I want to follow this person over here. That's not, what the Lord means. The Lord is talking about, you will know them by their fruits. And this is fruits of the spirit. This is um, peace. This is understanding. This is wisdom. This is um, uh, love, kindness, giving. This is, these are the fruits of the spirit and how you will know who is truly anointed, right? So, I wanted to point out a scripture here, and I'll have to search for it, sorry. Um, it's Mark 13. Um, so when they are on the Mount of Olives, and Peter, James, John, and Andrew um, asked Christ privately, like tell us when will all these things be and what will be the signs when all these things are to be accomplished when when the end times is 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 near and happening and Jesus began to say to them see that no one leads you astray many will come in my name saying I am he and they will lead many astray so I was watching a video this morning and this guy, um, he has a huge following, um, not going to point out a name, but he has a huge following. A lot of what he says is very true. It's very indicative of our times. It's very, you know, eye opening and awakening to a lot of people to see how, um, the elite and upper hand are moving, um, um, on this earth and things like that. But, he doesn't talk about God. He's actually very against God and religion and things like that, which I would love to point out that the Lord never says to follow a religion. This is not about a religion. This is picking up your cross daily and following and building a relationship with the Lord. So that is something like really key to remember because a lot of other false prophets are churches and other denominations and things that people are following that is not at all like they don't have a relationship with Christ. They just wake up on Sunday morning and go to church. That's, that's not at all what the Bible says to do. So, um, so he has this huge following and he's talking about these really, um, you know, really in, intuitive, mind-filling, wisdom-filled understanding of what you see going on. And he talks a lot about like the spiritual side too, but it's very new age indoctrinated. And you can tell that it is, even though he doesn't specifically talk about it, it is very, very new agey, right? So it's important to test the spirit. It's important to know 
who you're listening to, what you're seeing, what you're engaging in, because a lot of people will come with the, like a sprinkle of the truth or a lot of the truth, but then there's an underlining lie of the whole thing, which makes it not solid, which makes it not a solid, firm truth, which you can only truly find by building a relationship with the Lord and having the Holy Spirit lead you to the truths. Um, that is when you will see the in-depth truth. Um, so it's really important in these times to not be led astray. That is the first thing that he said when he was speaking to um, his disciples. That was the first thing that he brought up was to make sure that no man leads you astray. That many will come in my name saying I am he. So it's really something to consider. Make sure you're always testing the spirit. Um, if it sit, doesn't sit well in your spirit, something that someone's speaking about or saying, take it to the Lord, um, ask for confirmation, ask for, um, you know, revelation on, on who you're speaking with, who you're listening to. It's very important that we stay in the word, in scripture and only following the Lord and not ourselves. Study to show thyself approved. Open your Bible. Read it. Start to, to understand it on a spiritual level. It is so important in these times. It is so important, guys. But anyway, have a great blessed day in the Lord. Love you all.